Hi students, welcome back to the class which is discussing about energy. In previous class, we have learned that energy is the capacity of a body to do work. There are different forms of energy. They are mechanical energy, chemical energy, electrical energy, light, heat, sound, magnetic and nuclear energy. Among this, mechanic energy is classified into two. They are kinetic energy and potential energy. This potential energy can be classified into two. They are gravitational potential energy and elastic potential energy. We will be learning about these energies and their transformation from one form to another. So, let's start with mechanical energy. Mechanical energy is the energy possessed by a body due to the work done on it. As you are seeing in the figure, when we are pushing a table, we are applying a force on it. That means... We are spending our energy to push a table. This table will gain this energy and it will move. That is, the energy we spend are gained by the table and it moved. So, the table is possessing mechanical energy due to the work done on it by us. Work is done on a body only when it is displaced. Another example for mechanical energy is that for lifting a stone from the ground, we are applying some force on it. As a result, its position changes. That means it has gained some energy that we supply. Thus, we can say the stone possesses some mechanical energy. In the first case, that means when we are pushing a table, it has moved, right? So the energy possessed by a body, energy possessed by a body due to its state of motion or movement is called kinetic energy. All moving things have kinetic energy. A child riding a bicycle, a moving bus, a moving swing, flowing water, and moving air are some examples of bodies that possess kinetic energy. The kinetic energy possessed by a body is directly proportional to its mass and velocity. Directly proportional means as the mass or velocity of a body increases, then the kinetic energy of a body also increases. Mathematical formula for kinetic energy of a body is kinetic energy is equal to half mv square. m is the mass of the body and v is the velocity of the body. The second example that we discussed for mechanical energy is lifting a stone from the ground. Hence the position of stone has changed from ground to some height. So we can say that the stone which is at some height possess potential energy. Potential energy is the energy possessed by a body by virtue of its position. As we already mentioned, this potential energy is of two types. They are gravitational potential energy and elastic potential energy. Gravitational potential energy is the energy due to the raised position of an object. Examples are a mango on a tree, a brick raised to a height, water stored in a reservoir or a dam having potential energy on to their height. Elastic potential energy of a body is the energy that gets stored in it when the body is stretched or compressed or bent. For example, when the elastic band of catapult is stretched, elastic potential energy gets stored in the band. This is a stretched catapult. When the band is released, it can make a stone move with greater speed. 
the kinetic energy of the moving stone is obtained from this elastic potential energy stored in the band a coiled spring used in a watch it stores elastic potential energy when work is done to wind it up then a stretched bow and a one spring of a toy drummer also possess elastic potential energy so today we have learned that this mechanical energy is classified into kinetic and potential energy then we have learned that the potential energy is classified into two they are gravitational potential energy and elastic potential energy then we have learned the definitions and examples learn all these things and we will be continuing the other kinds of energies in next class till then take care thank you